Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose takes by number in Reaper. Now the purpose of this video is to show you how to switch takes by using numbers instead of next take or previous take. Let me give you an example. Let's say we're recording vocals and we're going to record different takes to choose from. Let's record one. And if we record over this, it's going to create another take like this. If you want to listen back to each one of them, let's take it out of record. We can just click on them, choosing take one or take two. Or we can hit keystrokes using the T key to go to the next take, or Shift T to go to the previous take. But if we're doing many takes, we might want to switch them by number instead of going next or previous. So, to give you a better example, let's create eight takes. But I'll fast forward through it so you don't have to hear each one of them. So now we have eight takes. And again, we could switch them by clicking on them. Hitting the T key to go to the next take. Or Shift T to go to the previous take. But when you're dealing with many takes, you might want to jump very quickly to different ones. Maybe from two to seven. And it could be a lot quicker if we use keyboard shortcuts to jump to specific takes by their number. So let's take a look in the actions list. Right up here. Show action list. Let's type in in the filter take colon. We can see right down over here, we have those two actions I mentioned switch items to next take or to previous take, and the keyboard shortcuts that trigger them. But as I said, we could also trigger them by their number take one through nine. So let's add keyboard shortcuts. To trigger them, go right here, hit add, and add a keyboard shortcut to trigger take one. I'm going to use one on the QWERTY keyboard, which may overwrite the default, but I tend to use this more, so I don't mind. Go through each one, two, three, and so on. I'm just going to do eight because that's all it takes we have. And we can close this. And we can use the keyboard shortcut to choose our takes. Just choose the item we want to switch. Hit five to jump to five. Or seven. Or three. And as we're comping to the part, we might want to split right over here. Maybe over here and choose between each take. Here's the first take or the seventh one. Move on to the next piece. Here's the second take or the fifth one or the eighth one and so on. 
and we can choose our keepers along the way. So if you're dealing with a lot of takes, it can be much quicker to choose them by number. Just go to the section, choose the item, and instead of switching to next take, one at a time, we could jump back and forth between our favorites, like three, or eight, or six, and so on. Now, if you like this method, but you don't want to use keyboard shortcuts, we can use toolbars. Let's go up over here and right click, choose Open Toolbar, and I'm going to choose Toolbar 1 because I haven't set that one up yet. So it's blank. We'll hit the Edit Me button. And from this window, we could add actions to that toolbar. Let's delete this one, go to Add, and we still have this filter. So I can add in Take 8, select it, Take 7, and so on. Now they all show up right here. So my toolbar is going to look like this with all the takes 1 through 8. Let's save it and close it. And now we can switch our takes from this toolbar. But let's position it in a different place. Position toolbar in toolbar docker. And let's dock it to the top by dragging it up there. Now it shows up over here. Now I can quickly choose my item and switch to take three or five or seven and so on. And as I move through the song, just choose the item and the take right from here. Makes it a lot easier when we're comparing our favorite takes that are next to each other. We can jump back and forth between three or seven a lot quicker. We'll just use the keystrokes that we set up earlier. One through eight. And we can jump from four to seven with one keyboard shortcut. So that's pretty much it. That's choosing takes by number in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.